Gadge, like surprisingly I see you here in the middle of Preston Park. We're here. Selling your art. The, the fascist panties, that's yes. the name. Yes, that's the name. Yeah. How do you feel? It feels great to actually be back to doing this again. It's just, you know, we had two years where we couldn't really sort of like show our pride and, you know, get my work out there. And it's just great to be back. So, yeah. And you know what? This, this proves that so social media works because my husband bought me as a present one of your arts, one of your uh, mugs that you are selling with your illustrations, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to actually, you know, especially what we've just been through, we can't really physically sell to people, you know, for two years we couldn't do it. So it's, um, it, you know, we really relied on social media, Instagram especially, because Instagram is very visual, obviously. So, um, so yeah, it's been great to use that platform. So you are selling uh, lots of public figures on t-shirts and mugs and other stuff, uh, um, pillow cases as well. Yeah, Can you tell sure. us more about it? So I, it's quite self-satisfying because I actually only design people that I really love myself. So it all started a couple of years ago when someone asked to uh, uh, for a Baby Jane uh, design, you know, classic obviously. Um, and so I did it and it proved to be one of the most popular things. So I tend to design sort of queer icons that um, are maybe a bit left center, you know, not necessarily the mainstream. So, because that's the sort of sort of queer culture that I, I love. So, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Brighton Pride. What is so special about? being here about Brighton Pride? Uh, you always know when you're in Brighton because there's such a different vibe. Yeah. It's, it's so eclectic, it's, uh, you know, there's such a great vibe. Everyone's so happy. Um, there's so much love really and, you know, it's just, it's always great to come back here. So I love it. What do you think we miss the most about being a LGBTQ plus community? What do you think we are still don't have? Um, I mean, sometimes we don't have a childhood. That's been very big for me. Um, you know, if you think about first crushes, things like that, you know, romances in school, uh, that was something that was very much missing from my life. And some kids, you know, they're still going through it, despite everything changing. You know, there might be in personal circumstances where they're not able to come out. And that's why it's so important to have these events to just show our love and just say, you're part of the family here, you know. So. so for anybody who are uh, willing to purchase one of your art, how can they do that? Uh, they can do it at fascistpanties.com. They can search on Instagram at fascistpanties, Facebook at fascistpanties or Etsy at fascistpanties. <laughs> I wish you all the best. I already enjoy your mugs every morning with my cup of coffee. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have fun. I appreciate it. Thank you.